All right, then. <clears throat> Y'all welcome again, everyone, to our beautiful historic state capitol <clears throat> for a, a great announcement. The South Carolina Department of Administration State Human Resources Division has organized a virtual career fair for veterans with more than 30 uh, state agencies participating. We have more than that, but those 30 or 32 have jobs that are open right now. And there's a preference written into our state law and also into our, our consciousness of the value of veterans to our state and country and the, their particular skills and how they're so easily and quickly transferred to other things when they, other lines of work when they get out of the military. And a lot of our vets, as you know, retire from the military in their 40s and they are, they are ready to go. There are others that are in for active duty and come out with skills they learn. So this is a, we're taking advantage of this idea, the value of our veterans. South Carolina is a veteran state, a military state, and also the, the convenience and uh, ability and reach of the, the internet in order to reach these veterans to let them know that now is the time if they're looking for something to do, a new line of work, or want to change work, that we're here and we're ready. Ms. Adams? Thank you, Governor. Thank you, Governor. And good afternoon. The South Carolina Department of Administration recognizes the need to assist agencies in attracting highly qualified applicants to their job openings. Employees have been and will continue to be the biggest assets agencies have to providing quality services to the citizens. And as part of that, we're implementing various methods to attract those applicants to state government, but we recognize that especially here in this state, we have a unique opportunity to recruit qualified and skilled veterans to our jobs. Thankfully, the Department of Veteran Affairs recognized that opportunity also and offered to partner with admin in developing a plan to inform veterans about job openings with the state, but also to assist agencies with understanding how those military skills can translate the job requirements that we have here in state agencies. And I really want to thank Secretary Grimsley and his agency for all of their collaboration and support with this initiative. It's part of this effort in June of 2020 admin and the Department of Veteran Affairs work together through our Division of State Human Resources and we have Karen Wingo here today who is the division director for that. We assembled, assembled a work group of human resource professionals, many of them veterans, to strategize about ways to recruit and retain uh, those veteran employees. And you see that work group here represented by many different agencies to include the Department of Veterans Affairs, the Department of Motor Vehicles, the Department of Transportation, the Department of Corrections, the Department of Health and Environmental Control, the Department of Commerce, and Clemson University. And one of the first tasks of that work group was to standardize the applicant's veterans' uh, preference across state agencies. That law's been on the books, and we looked at how to standardize that across the agencies. So we announced that effective January 1st, at least one qualified veteran must be interviewed for every position that was posted. Obviously, the veteran had to be qualified. Um, and if there was one in the pool of applicants who met the minimum training and experience requirement for the position, we asked that agencies give them an interview. Since that time, the percentage of veterans hired has increased from 5.2% of all hires to 12% just in that short almost six months now. To further encourage veterans to consider employment with the state, admin is hosting the Veterans Virtual Career Fair from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on May the 4th. We're gonna have more, as the governor said, more than 30 state agencies and higher education institutions participating. And we'll be hiring from job categories such as engineering, healthcare, information technology, maintenance, accounting and finance, human resources, security and law enforcement, and grant management, just to name a few. This online interactive career fair platform allows potential applicants to share their resumes 
and have the ability to chat online and through video conference with agency representatives about open positions. And it also gives our agencies a chance to talk about the benefits of working for the state. We, are now, we have now opened the registration for the virtual career fair. The registration is going to be shared through the press release, and it also can be found on the SC Careers social media pages or website pages and through Accelerate SC. Thank you very much. Thank you, Gov Governor and Director Adams. Uh, I really appreciate this opportunity, and I'd like to highlight again uh, Karen Wingo and her team. Without, her, without their leadership and initiative, uh, this wouldn't have come about. So we're extraordinarily excited, both as an agency, but perhaps more importantly, for the 406,000 veterans of South Carolina and their families, this great opportunity. So I'll belabor the obvious for a minute and answer the question of why hire a veteran. Well, just look around and look what you see here. This is a great group of people, highly qualified, highly educated, disciplined, fit, motivated, proficient. We're pretty good about getting up in the morning and doing what we're told. Uh, <laughs> We're really good at leading and directing other people, but perhaps for this great state, when you think about the diversity of the people that we have in the state and as we bring them together, we're really, really good at building teams of diverse people from wide varieties of backgrounds, skills, and experience and pulling them together toward fulfilling a purpose that's higher than themselves, bigger than themselves. And it's all about mission accomplishment. So I would say when it comes to hiring a veteran, Look for somebody who's organized and disciplined. Look for somebody who knows how to think through complex problems in very difficult situations and do it very well, who's very good at building teams and project management toward objective accomplishment, and most importantly, is open and accepting to new ideas and new things, but really driving towards continuing to make this the greatest state in the union. So why hire a veteran? Well, I think I just explained it to you. And, and I am proud to be a veteran working in South Carolina as was uh, my parents, my brother, and, uh, and many others. And so this is a way to give back uh, to, to our great state. Now, we speak a different language on occasion, and so sometimes it's a little difficult so for my brothers and sisters in state agencies who might be a little, who want to hire veterans and don't really understand exactly what it is we do or how we do it, I'll give you two answers. First off, go to the toolkit, again, that the Department of Administration and State HR built, it is a great soup to nuts description of veterans and the language we speak and how to translate that into, into civilian speak and everything else. And if you don't want to do it that way or you want some further application, just call us. We'll be happy. I got a bunch of veterans who will be happy to explain military speak and veterans. So sometimes uh, we do get a little beyond the pale as to how things are and we, uh, we think we're speaking English but we're really not and we understand that. So use this as a resource. We are very proud of this initiative and we really look forward to taking this to the next level and really bringing great veterans into our state government. Thank you. Thank you, General. Mr. Secretary General. Whatever, sir. <laughs> Are there any questions? Uh, yes, ma'am. Vacancies state agencies have. As of Friday, 1,388 positions were vacant. Okay. That's throughout all agencies, but we've tried to encourage all the agencies participating to have the vacancies. What is the unemployment rate for veterans right now? Do we know the unemployment rate for veterans or how many veterans are actually unemployed? I don't know the I don't have the exact answer. I mean, I'd be happy to look it up for you. It's been on a sliding scale. We've had a pretty good success even during COVID of keeping veterans employed. Um, just truth in lending, we need to work across the state on the underemployment of veterans. That's a different answer to your question. But uh, over the course of the past uh, six or eight months, as we've seen an unemployment go down in South Carolina, it's been a commensurate decrease in unemployment in veterans as well. But I'll, I'll get a better number for you. We, we do know that our unemployment rate is lower than most states right now. It's been hovering from four to under, under six percent, which is very low. That depends on the success. We expect great success, and when we, when we, when all the veterans uh, have a job and all of them have what they're looking for, then I guess we'll we'll probably stop for a while. But this will be a continuing program, and we think other uh, other institutions will do the same thing.
Yes, they are. And we, we uh, discovered that it, working with COVID as well. There are a lot of people that just did not have access to that. If there are any questions about how to sign up or if they need assistance in signing up, if they will contact the department through the Accelerate SC website, um, there's a call center there, and we will take those questions and provide assistance to them. Are there any more questions? Hearing none, thank you very much.